Good morning students. I am your science teacher Komal Saxena. I hope you all are fine at your place. Today we start a new chapter that is chapter 13 the sun, moon and stars. The sun is a huge ball of fire. Sun is also a star. Sun is closer to the earth than the other stars. So we can see it as a big yellow ball in the sky the temperature of the sun is too high all living things need the sun without the sun there would be no life on the earth it gives us heat and light it rises from east every morning and set in west every evening we should not look directly at the sun it can harm our eyes the moon is closer to the earth the moon is not a star it is the only natural satellite of earth moon takes 28 days to revolve around the sun moon has no light of its own it reflects the light of the sun there is no air and water on the moon so life is not possible on moon craters there are huge balls on the surface of moon these holes are called craters neil armstrong and edwin eldrin were the first astronauts who landed on moon in july 1969 The moon changes its shape every night. These different shapes are called phases of moon like full moon day, half moon day, crescent, gibbous moon. In Hindi, we also called as amavasya, purnima. Stars are also very big in size. They are very far away from earth. So, they look tiny lights in the sky we use telescope to observe the sun moon planets and stars telescope was invented by the scientist named as galileo galilei stars appear in fixed groups or patterns they are known as constellations there are 88 different constellations like leo scorpius or sa major and orion so now children you all are able to understand that there are millions of stars in the sky we cannot count them stars are big balls of fire they are very far from earth the sun is also a star it is closer to earth then the other stars all living things need the sun it gives us heat and light the moon is not a star it is a natural satellite we see it in the sky at night the moon reflects the light of the sun the moon changes its shape every day we can see the group or patterns of the stars called constellations so that's now for all thank you everyone